time to take your seat. Coach Rob, have a shot! Ha 
have a shot. It's still a foul though, like so. I'm here with Longford boss Dara Doyle after a 2-0 defeat in the showgrounds but Dara that doesn't tell the whole story it was a very even game throughout yeah listen it really was and it's it's very frustrating here at the end of the game that you know it easily could have went either way there was there was big calls and big decisions I suppose in, in that game that didn't go away I, I don't want to be seen as if someone that's you know making excuses as such but listen it's quite obvious to anyone watching that game today that big calls didn't go away for the first goal I mean there's a tackle from behind on Robert I feel we should get the ball we should get the free kick where when it happened the ball breaks inside then to a central position we can probably do a little bit better from him it'll probably go down as a goalkeeping error let's be honest and we'll be disappointed with that because in the first half we probably created the closest chance to scoring and the best chance for a good play down the right hand side a pull back then to Dylan Grimes and it goes just over the bar so you know we, we felt we could have scored that um, what was your view on the penalty the penalty for me is not a penalty and I think most people that you'll speak to on this ground will, will, will say that at no time does Paddy Kirk move his hand towards the ball. His hands are clearly by his side and the ball strikes his hand. And, and to me it felt like he couldn't wait to give the penalty. And, and they're the calls that haven't been going our way. And that's really frustrating because we'd love little things like that to go our way. We probably could have had a penalty ourselves where maybe Dobbsy's a bit too honest. Because yeah. the lad has the foot out and I think if that's in the middle of the park, it gets pulled back for an advantage and it's in the box and we should probably be going over we don't so we, we don't take anything from it so um yeah frustrating is the is the word tonight because we came here with a game plan we mixed it up a little bit with our shape and formation and how we were going to play and we were causing them problems and until the mistake that gives them the first goal we're well in the game we're well in it in the second half and we, we have lots of good play lots of matching them throughout that game and it's frustrating that we're here with a 2-0 defeat you started the game really well and you mentioned that chance early on where Rob Manley cuts it back to Dylan Grimes and it, it's, it's, it's still a difficult, it's a difficult angle and the ball's coming at pace but maybe he should have got it on target and if Longford take the lead there, I mean yeah. that's, that's a great boost. Yeah listen, we, we all know Dylan Grimes is a technically superb player and when a chance comes along to Dylan Grimes like that, I, I think he should be scoring and um, we're, we're disappointed that he hasn't maybe he leans back and hits a little off the front of the toe that lifts the ball up over the bar but yeah you're right had, had goals do change games and the fact that we gifted a goal through first of all not getting the free we should and then listen it's, it's a goalkeeping error from what I can see so we're disappointed to give a goal away in that manner which you know it gives them the, the onus to, and the lead in the game which makes things more difficult for us then uh, yeah, again, we haven't seen a replay of it, but th there was strange movement on the ball for the opening goal, and, and Mix probably just got a bit deceived yeah, by it. Yeah, I'm just saying, I've, I'd, yeah. I haven't seen a replay of it as such, but it looked from the sideline. I don't know how much movement is there for the ball, and mm. listen, we look at it again and, and we'll see. But um, yeah, it was a, a soft goal. I felt. What I was going to ask, are you disappointed maybe the, the Figuero wasn't closed down a bit? Quickly? Yeah, when the ball does break into the middle, I mentioned that we, I think we, we can do better to close the distance. We knew that um, Walter Vergo and Gibson do like to shoot from distance when it's on, and it was something that we'd worked on to make sure, should that arise, that they pick up possession in them areas, that we do need to press that ball quickly because they will get shots off. And um, yeah, it's something that we, we can look we can look to be better at because maybe we could have done that better after not getting the free kick in the first place. Uh, your team played some great football here tonight. Um, it was a big improvement on the Bowes game. I'm sure you'd agree with that. Yeah, no, listen, some excellent stuff there and some really good performances in the game there tonight. We had one or two lads that come in for their first start. You've, you've got to commend Callum Thompson for the work that he put in there. And I thought as the second half went on, he grew into the game. So it's great to get him his first start. He gets 70-plus minutes. You had Joe Manley come in for his first game at centre-back and he probably started a little bit 
Rovi, but he grew into the game as, as it went on and it, it's good to see Joe come back in who's been such an outstanding player for this club over the last year and a half um, and listen we've, we have lots of players there that can make an impact we have a big game coming up now against Rada on Monday who have won three games in a row we've had some great battles with them over the, the last number of years to get to this level we now play them at this level and we feel we can compete I say that every single week I don't go into any single game that we play this year feeling we can't get something from the game and I think our performances have shown that Unfortunately, we've come out on some some wrong calls and some so a couple of things that haven't gone away. Whether they'll change, maybe they will. Um, but for now, it looks like a couple of decisions aren't going away, and it's tough to take. I mean, I had a chat with the ref after it, and you know, it's 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 really difficult to to take and frustrating. I suppose is the the main word from this evening's result. Dara, thanks very much. Thanks, lads. Now we're here at the showgrounds. It's full time. Sligo Rovers two, Longford Town nil. Doesn't tell the whole story though. A very even game once again, but just a couple of moments in the game swung us Sligo's way, Gary. Yeah, um, it's kind of hard to know with their first goal. Uh, it wasn't the best shot in the world. No. I think uh, Mick was just a bit deceived. Or I don't know what happened with him, but uh, I, he could have been on site or something like that. I haven't really seen it, and mm. probably not a, probably not even a better angle on Watch LOI either. So, look, we'll just have to put it down to a, a bit of deception, and probably Mick could have done better. He still got a hand to it. So, uh, look, I'm sure he'll be disappointed with that, but that's the way it goes. and. Uh, I thought we came into it. We we were never out of the game. Uh, I know. Well, Longford definitely started the game. The, the stronger yeah. uh, had that great chance where Rob Manley cuts it back to Dylan Grimes. Grimes yeah. just leans back maybe and it goes over the bar. Um, that felt like a big moment because uh, I think Longford were well on top in the opening five or ten minutes of the game. And then, as we said, that shot from Figueroa just deceives McKelly for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, and then, as as you said, Longford have spells again in the game where they're on top. And then on the hour mark, we have that controversial penalty um, decision. Yeah, it probably wasn't. Even that controversial, it was probably par for the course of the referee's performance throughout the game. Um, I, I, he left a lot on the pitch. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, not decisive, not moving the game on. Um, but look, I wasn't too surprised when, uh, if it, if he did handle it. I wasn't surprised that the keeper gave it. Do you know what I mean? Even if it was down. Yeah, his hands were by his side. There's, yeah. no, there's no way it's a penalty. No, probably not. But he, he's probably a bit busy watching matches today or Sky Sports <laughs> or something like that. He has no. It doesn't seem to have much. Yeah, of he was, a, he was way off the pace all night. Yeah, I, th- I thought so. Um, he could have done with keeping up with the game a bit more. But look, you're going to have that. Um, I, I suppose you know we mentioned it in the game or during the game after coming up from the first division. We thought that there would be a higher quality of. Um, referee and, and referee and staff just uh, hasn't seemed to come to pass which is unfortunate um, but I think you know at, at the same time saying all of that we probably didn't create enough uh, there were some chances in the game um, that we did create that we didn't make very good use of um, Rob had a shot early on Dylan Grimes' chances you mentioned could have done a, uh, a lot better with that just from the position where he was and it was a good cross in from Rob Everything was done right to bar the finish. Yeah. Um, which look, so if we're not scoring enough goals, it's hard to get that fire started again. But look, you're gonna have that. Mm. Uh, look, I think the overriding um, emotion here tonight is frustration because again, yeah. Longford have given it all, um, and as we said, just a couple of moments in the game have gone against them, uh, a couple of missed chances as well. But th- there were positives. It was a much improved performance from the game against Bowes last week. Yeah, the, the, the Bowes game was not a good performance from Longford Town at all, um, and I think a lot of the things were rectified. But there's there's still, you know, it's obviously easy for me to say it, losing two 0 that there's still work to be done, but. While it was a much better performance from the Bulls game, there's, there still were um, some issues that need to be looked at, I mm. suppose. But look, that that's a process that's going to take time. Uh, it just can't take too much more time. <laughs> I suppose after a game like this, where everyone's coming away from from Sligo really frustrated, it's, it's probably a great thing to have a game so quickly now on Monday again. A draw, they'll go in full of confidence. They've scored a 96 minute winner tonight. Um, yeah, I think, I so, think yeah. that's three wins on the bounce for them as well. Beating yeah. Pats last week, I mean, they are riding the crest of a wave at the moment. Um, they beat Longford for 4-0 in the last game. I know we've said it before, it probably wasn't a 4-0 game, but they still went out and done it. So they'll go in as heavy favourites. Longford, the underdogs. Um, how do you see this game Monday panning out? Uh, it's going to be a very difficult game. There's no doubt about it. You know, We've historically had a great record up in United Park. I think before that game... Uh, early on the season, I don't think we lost them in seven or eight or yeah. something like that. And we've beaten them loads of times in throughout that run. Um, but look, it's two very different teams um, that featured in those games. So, 
Look, United Park is a tricky place to go on, no matter how well either team is doing. But I think um, I think it's a good thing that the game is so soon. Don't have a lot of time to mull over this game or something. You know, think about it or whinge about it or whatever. The whinging has been done now; it's over. Um, I think just have to look forward to it and try and get something out of the game. I think um, it's going to be hard because when you look at the last few games, you know. Poor performance against Bowes, lose 2 0. I know a better performance tonight, but still lose 2 0. And then the conceding the last goal against Derry. Mm. It's. I don't know. It's hard to change the momentum. It, exactly. Yeah. That, that's that's exactly it. And um, Dara has a big job to do. Um, and, and Johnny, of course. But I think uh, the players need to also you know, take it on themselves. They have the ability uh, to, to change it. Um, and there's no better time to do it on Monday. Yeah, as Gary says, big game coming up in Drada on Monday, and then Shamrock Rovers just before the break as well, and they've been beaten tonight, so you'd imagine they're going to be sore and looking to get the, the title charge moving again. But uh, from Sligo tonight, a frustrating night for the town, but uh, we'll speak to you from Drada, I suppose, during the week. Kieran and Gary, thanks for watching. Time to take your seat. The pride of the Premier League.